Uh, well, if you didn't know already, um, the US has obviously got a bit of a wiretapping shenanigan going on with the internet. Um, apparently what they do is they get all the data that comes down and they don't just go, oh, we'll ser search for a certain person's activities, all their emails, all their Skype calls or anything like that. They just get everything, absolutely everything that comes through on, I don't know, quite a lot of lines by the sounds of it. And they just store a lot of it. And they're primarily doing it inside the United States. Um, <clears throat> and it's just like every single thing that gets said, there's none of it filtered. There is no filters. It's just get everything and dump the whole lot on a hard drive somewhere. Um, and they've had all this stuff stored in various areas of the country and now apparently they're going to make one big place, which is just a big data storage place, um, to hold all this stuff. And what they do with all this information, later on if they, you become an enemy or whatever, they can just tap in, um, you know, your um, address. I think it's like that little number code, you know, they've got the, like the 12 digit number with all the um, dots in between it, something like that, or, you know, your name or whatever, and then bang, everything involving you gets brought up off this hard drive, but they keep absolutely everything. They don't filter anything. And then at a later date, if they want to target you, they just search this whole database for anything to do with you. Apparently, they've been keeping records of um, basically group circles of, of friends, you know, who's friends with who on Facebook. And apparently they were trying to do all that stuff before Facebook even existed to work out who each individual person generally communicates with, um, who they're, all their mates are basically, um, and all their friends on Facebook and stuff like that. Now, there's been another little flaming soiree that's come out in the last day or two here. Um, you know, and you're probably watching this video quite a while after I make it. Um, but it turns out that Australian embassies were also being used. Our foreign embassies, because, you know, all the Chinese and the Russians are checking out the American embassy, you know, making sure there's nothing going on. Well, apparently, the Americans have been using our embassies um, to you know, grab some of this internet information um, and not necessarily store it, but transmit it back to them so they can store it. And it turns out that most Australian diplomats didn't even know this was going on. And I assume they're just made to look like a couple of maintenance blokes or whatever, you know, coming into, you know, like just the or the blokes who mow the lawn or whatever sort of thing, um, you know, or tradespeople or whatever that, that are coming in to do this or do that or whatever. And in reality, um, they, you know, nick out through the um, broom cupboard, shall we say, has a, a second door or whatever, um, or they go into, you know, the attic, so to speak, or another part of the, uh, you know, service tunnel or whatever, and in there, bang, there's all the equipment they need um, to do their job. Some of these, you know, they only need like two or three people to, to run these things, and, and they'll, you go into the a little sort of service area out the back behind all the air conditioning systems or whatever, um, and yeah, there will be a little hidden room with the computers in it there, and what they have is all the antennas, they have like Oh, the maintenance sheds on the roof to store all the vacuum cleaners and all the, um, you know, bits and pieces, all the, you know, render and other touch-up bits and pieces that they need. Um, they have a maintenance shed to store all that. And the antennas will either be in that maintenance shed or they may have like a big front facade piece 
um, that's you know not actually structural. It's just a nice big bit at the front of the building or whatever. Um, you know, like a one of those fake walls where they've just got like a single brick wall thing to make the front of the building look larger. And then behind that facade, behind that you know fancy point in the roof that's not actually there structurally but just looks nice. Inside that, there will be the antenna. Um, and all this stuff is getting transmitted back and <laughs> held in donations. Oh, you know, spying isn't flaming, isn't right, da 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 da. You know, that's, that's not on, that's not fair. That's pretty steep coming from someone who um, had a lot of our politicians' phone lines tapped during the uh, East Timor independence. Um, they said there was, they didn't tell us who, but they said, oh, this was like two and a half years after it was over, they. A few years after it's over, they come out and said, um, you know, like <clears throat> after the initial independence, it was like, it might have been three or four years, it was a while after, they come out and said, you know, we were worried that you might have, you know, it might turn into full blown war or something like that. Um, so we had certain politicians and we tapped their phones and we believed they'd be the politicians that would, you know, if we listened to them, then we'd know what was going on. And I think the other, you know, like the defence minister and and stuff like that, probably the prime minister and probably, you know, anyone else who was sort of military relations with parliament or whatever like that sort of thing, um, you know, anybody who would be making any decisions about war, well, they had all their phones tapped. They didn't actually tell us whose ones they tapped, um, but they just told us that. And uh, now they're whinging that we might be spying. Well. Yeah, okay, well, you know. <laughs> but anyway, it may be the extent that we, you know, like in, in the situation of East Timor, they were seriously concerned that we might actually start a full-blown war with them. Um, <laughs> never mind the size of their army is something like four million. You know, and we've got whole capital cities who don't even reach that. I mean, Sydney is only just four million a while back, I think. It's um, down here in the capital here. It's only got three and a half or something like that. But, but yeah, um, it's an interesting little thing which just sort of splurged out yesterday. And, and uh, you're probably watching a little bit late, but I thought I'd tell my American viewers um, because they might not know about it all, um, especially the Australian cog in the works. Um, so, yeah.